this video, I'm going to show you how to find the integral of sine cubed of x. So we can write this integral as integral of sine of x times sine squared of x dx. Now we're going to look at the identity of sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So let's rearrange for sine squared. This gives us 1 minus cosine squared x. So now we can substitute this back into here. So this gives us integral of sine of x times integral of, sorry, not the integral, just 1 minus cosine squared of x and dx. So let's expand this out. This gives us integral of sine of x minus sine of x cosine squared of x dx. So the whole reason we've done this is because if you differentiate sine of x or cosine of x to a high power, let's call it n, we'll get n times sine of x power of n minus 1 times cosine of x. So you can see here, if we want to integrate, we need its derivative outside. So just like here, we can now integrate this function because we've got the derivative of cos next to it, which is sine. But here we can't integrate this on its own because it doesn't have the uh, its derivative next to it. So now we can um, integrate this. You can do it by uh, inspection, but I'm going to do it by substitution, just to show you clearly step by step. So I'm going to split this into two integrals integral of sine of x dx plus integral of cosine squared x times minus sine of x dx. I've done this very deliberately, but I'll show you in a second why. So if for this integral, we let u equal cos of x, and now differentiate it, so du dx equals minus sine of x. So let's multiply by dx. This gives us minus sine of x dx. And this is why I separated like this, because you can see now that we can just substitute this bit here. I'll use a different color. So we can substitute this bit here in for du. And we can uh, write cos squared of x in terms of u. So let's do this. I'll just leave the first integral like it was. So sine of x dx plus integral of u squared du. So now we can integrate both of these. So this equals integral of sine of x is minus cos of x. Integral of u squared is u cubed over 3 and plus c. So now let's substitute back in for u. And this gives us so if I swap these two around, this gives us cosine cubed of x over 3 minus cosine of x plus c. So there you go, integral for sine cubed of x.